Hello, I'm Artifacts Mars. So, Pound Never Again, huh? Well, Pound Never Again and I have something to talk about. You know, there's somebody else here you might hear in the background. Now, nobody wants to see the type of thing that happened in Florida. Probably not. It would make them wish they were there. However, you people don't understand what the cause is. Huh. And this is what I'm getting at. Uh -huh. You people want to take away my firearms and the firearms of everybody else because you think it'll solve the problem. Well, it's kind of like treating cough to a cold. It doesn't get rid of a cold. It just temporarily mutes the cough. You see, you see, we have a morality problem. A long time ago, the people that you people like so much took prayer in the Bible uh, schools. And that's when our schools started to deteriorate. And this is what you don't understand. We have over 300 million guns in this country, and if the guns were the problem, there'd be nobody left alive because we'd be mowing each other down in the streets, like they do in Baltimore, oh. Chicago, and a few other places uh -huh. where the crime is out of control and the gangs need to be rounded up and incarcerated. Yes, they do. So, uh, here's your issue. You people barking up the wrong tree to use an old platitude. They, uh, the guns are not the problem. It's a lack of morals and moral character. That's right. And I don't know what else to say to you folks. I mean, other than I'm asking, why are you people not outraged? Not what? Why are you people not outraged? that this dirtbag who did this is sucking wind. He's still sucking wind. Why are you not outraged by this? You know, there's a uh, species of insect, I'm not going to fill in the blanks because YouTube would ban me, but he would have a close encounter with them. Order Hymenoptera family formicity. Fill in the blanks. Oh, they're small and they're red. And they're very mean. Fill in the blanks. Give me one of their nests and some rope and the punk, and I'll take care of this. But unfortunately, we don't think like that. He's still sucking wind, and he's still at 98.6. This is unacceptable. But I know authorities are not going to... He's going to get a nice, luxurious uh, cell. Hopefully, he'll get put in with Bubba. I uh, hope his stay in prison, which is going to be a long one, will be very unpleasant. For who? Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Nicholas Cruz, man. The, oh, Cruz. The okay. dirtbag sure. who uh, shot up that school, or yeah. so they say. Yeah. Now, to show you, I've already done a video, folks, about how that cop stood there outside the school and did nothing. Well, he wasn't doing nothing. He was trying to stop somebody else mm -hmm. from stopping the crime. Yeah, that's right. This is a false flag, folks. <sighs> Plain and simple. If you don't get it, then you're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm appearing on video like this in a public park, I'm really angry. Make no mistake about it. Normally, I just sit at my computer and I use a screen capture program. I'm using a camera this time. I'm pissed. All right? You're going to have to get get with the program. If we don't reverse the morality problem, you can take away every gun in the country and things will continue to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. You want proof? You want proof? Look at Mexico. They're not allowed to have guns. No. And yet, the cartels 
are heavily armed. Are they really? And the Mexican government does nothing to disarm them. Oh They're scared of them, frankly. I don't think they have military might. Probably not. Of course, we do, but we don't have will or Mexico's permission to go in and clean that up. I kind of think maybe three or four Moabs would uh, suffice. A Moab is, it's not an actual acronym, it's the mother of all bombs. It's uh, like 22,000 pounds or something. It's huge. It's dropped from a cargo plane. I think that would clean up some of the cartels. Well, that's all I can say here. I can't bring my gun here because I'm in a public park and that would get people understandably nervous. So the remainder of this video will have to be done in my backyard. I got a little message. Some of you may love it, some of you may hate it. But it's going to be fun. I'm Artifacts Mars and stand by for part two. I'll never again. This is Artifacts of Mars again. Only well, this time I don't have a little old lady. Oh, the old lady there, that was not planned, but I'm going to run with it anyway. So like I said, I am real mad. So, you seeing this gun? I'm going to back off a little so you can see more of it. You know what this gun is? Well, it's not an AR. This is standard hunting 22. Semi-automatic, 10 round capacity. Fairly nice gun. I never get to use it because I hardly am seeing any game lately. Anyway, so what's Artifacts going to do with us? Give them everything we know. And give them what has happened. What is Artifacts going to do with this gun? Anybody care to take a guess? Am I going to shoot it? No. This is what I'm going to do. Oh, my friend. See, no one in this world can you trust. Not men, not women, or children. It's probably the only line from the movie I actually go with. That's from Conan the Barbarian. No one in this world can you trust. Not men, not women, not children. This... This you can trust. My friend. Now I got one more message for you, pound never again people. Stand by. Are you ready? I'm supposed to use a wine goblet, but I'm not a Klingon. <laughs> not a Klingon. I'm an angry white male from western New York. Just water jug. But maybe you got the point. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Pound never again who may consider themselves scolded. Thanks for watching.